Vicky Blossom Harmony 2021. Nuff said. Welcome to Campi Planet. I'm Mac and I'm back in Aloha Whiskey Bar, one of the greatest bars on earth, to review Hibiki Blossom Harmony 2021. Hibiki is Suntory's premium blend brand, released in 1989 to commemorate the 90th anniversary of Suntory's founding. The Hibiki 21 is a six-time winner of the world's best blended whiskey at the World Whiskey Awards. So, what's this bottling all about? Well, at the start of this year, Suntory announced this limited edition Hibiki alongside limited edition Yamazaki 2021, and they were both released on the 25th of May. There have been special edition Hibikis in the past. Deep Harmony, Mellow Harmony, Masters Select for the airport market, and Blender's Choice. But the Hibiki brand hasn't seen the yearly limited editions that the Yamazakis have. What makes this so special? Well, it's a blend of standard Hibiki with Sakura cask finished whiskies. Sakura is the Japanese name for the cherry blossoms, the most revered of all the blooms in Japan, and the excuse for the party called Hanami, which literally means flower viewing, but ends up being essentially a two week piss up. And I think this truly is the world's greatest party, you know? Now, exciting as this all is, this is far from the first Sakura cask aged whiskey. One of the things I like about the new Japanese whiskey standards is they don't impose any restrictions on cask types. So there's a lot of freedom to mess around and have some fun. Where does the Sakura component of this whiskey come from? Well, it's probably cheetah grain. And I say that given what was in the Essence of Suntory Whiskey Volume 4 release. There was a cheetah Sakura cask finished grain whiskey aged in white oak casks for at least 15 years, aged for a further at least three years in Sakura wood casks. Like the limited edition Yamazaki release, this one is also intended for the gift giving season of Oxygen. So we have this lovely box and this incredible label with this beautiful cherry blossom detail. I really do love the packaging, which features 100 flowers suitable for celebration. And this red accent really helps to bring out the design. Pro tip, you know that these are cherry blossoms as opposed to say plum or peach because of the angular indentation at the end of the petals. Each bottle retails for 8,000 yen. That's about 70 US dollars, 60 euros or 50 British pounds. For that, you get 700 milliliters at 43% ABV. There are no official figures for the number of bottles out there. I've heard 30,000, but who knows? Well, except Suntory. So hopefully the thought and care that's been put into the cardboard and the label will manifest itself in the liquid. Let's find out. And now here's a word from our sponsor. Asking you to like, comment, share this video, and subscribe for more from Campi Planet. First, let's check out the color. Nice classic amber, time for the nosing. I should explain this uh, big grin that's just crossed my face. You see, if I start going on about floral notes or sakura, or sakura mochi, which is a type of Japanese dessert that uses sakura, then, well, I mean, it's pretty obvious. They have indeed succeeded in their job, at least as far as the aroma goes. As well as the sakura cherry blossom, I'm also getting hints of some other blooms, uh, some plum, some peach. There's also a, almost a Mediterranean element to it. Getting a bit of olive and um, some kumquat, actually. Hmm, very interesting. Let's go on the palette. Kampai. Ooh. Lovely. I'll give you some feedback soon. Okay, so that's really interesting. The Sakura here on the palette manifests itself a little bit differently. I'm getting more of a kind of cherry cake or cherry pie. It's got this really lovely mouthfeel, kind of hits you sharp on the tongue. 
and then expands almost fragrant around your mouth. And I know fragrant, obviously a word normally associated on the nose, but here, very, very appropriate on the palate. Another way of describing that would be rounded. And within that, I'm getting some honey, I'm getting some pear, and this really delicate sweetness, which is absolutely delightful. The finish is rich, lingering, floral, and actually very refreshing, and leaves you wanting to come back for another sip. As you can tell, I love this dram, but how does it stack up to a regular hibiki? I can answer that question. So, color-wise, fairly close, but actually the standard hibiki is darker. On the nose, hmm, a lot more fruit, just straight fruit, for example, apples, oranges, comes out from the regular hibiki, which uh, is kind of masked by the uh, sakura in the Blossom Harmony. There's also a smokiness and spice in the hibiki, which is not there or much less present in the Blossom Harmony. Let's go on the palette. Head to head on the palette, the Blossom Harmony is a lot more mellow and a lot smoother. That smokiness and spice that you get on the nose of the hibiki is there on the palette and really not there at all on the Blossom Harmony. The Hibiki bottle is such a beautiful thing. Feels nice to have one in each hand. Whenever I drink No Age Statement Hibiki, I feel this melancholy and nostalgia for the days when Age Statement Hibikis were plentiful, abundant, and cheap. On the finish, one of the things I really love about standard Hibiki is the way that the fruit and the sugar transforms to citrus and then to black pepper and spice. The complexity is really interesting to me. That level of complexity just isn't there in the Blossom Harmony. It has its own beautiful characteristics. You heard me rave about it earlier, but it's a very, very different dram. So clearly that Sakura cask finishing on some of the whiskies that they've added from this to this has made a huge transformation in the dynamics of the blend. In the regular Hibiki, you can also detect on the nose, more on the palate, and definitely on the finish, the impact of that Mizunara Japanese oak. And I'm reminded of that even more, having recently tested the Yamazaki Limited Edition 2021. While with the Blossom Harmony, it's there, but much, much less pronounced. So, head to head, I've got to give it to the Blossom Harmony. It's an absolutely delightful dram. Light, refreshing, and that Sakura cask has worked a lot of magic. At RRP in Japan, standard Hibiki is about 5,000 yen. Well, this is 8,000 yen, and I think it's worth the difference. I think it more than lives up to the hype, and if you can snag a bottle at a reasonable price, then go for it. Hibiki Blossom Harmony 2021 represents great work from Suntory and I hope we see more experiments with Sakura casks from them in future. Until next time, kanpai.